Guys, what's up? So we have another college basketball pick video for you today. We have another two picks in this video. As always, I'm going to get into those in a second. First, let's go over a few things. So this pick, as you see right here on screen, this is my pick that I put on my Instagram. I put it on my Instagram story, and then I made a post about it as well. This was the free pick I gave out, and it almost hit. Missy got... He had five rebounds with a minute left in the game, and then he, or four rebounds with a minute left in the game, and he went out and got three rebounds in the last minute of the game. Absolutely screwed us, but we almost hit right there. And then the free picks I gave yesterday in yesterday's, um, yesterday's video, that ended up going one for two. If you tailed that pick, I'm sure you guys, I already saw a couple of people commenting on the last video. Everyone's pissed off. The guy missed. Dagan Hart missed by 0.5 PRA. It was a complete blowout. They they destroyed San Jose State, and the guy needed one more PRA. So um, unfortunate, but it is what it is. We totally, totally locked in on Kalkbrenner and Creighton. I was saying in the last video that I think Creighton has this real shot to beat UConn. They destroyed UConn, and then I said Kalkbrenner is not going to have it. Even though they are going to win, he's not going to have a great game. He's going to go under on his points. So we cashed out on him in a couple of our plays. So that's how the picks went yesterday. Let's go into the picks for today. Actually, first I want to show you guys this. Um, we are at 997 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. That's huge. Um, I want to see if we could maybe get to, we might be able to hit a thousand subscribers now before March, um, which would be insane if we hit that before March madness. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. You guys say you like the video. So um, I'm very grateful for that. We're going to, I'm going to keep posting more college basketball videos because you guys seem to really like them. So last thing, last thing, this is the free picks. This is always linked in the description of the videos. We have the free plan right here. And then we have the paid for one right here. At least get on the free plan, guys. It's just going to email you or text you screenshots of my favorite plays for that day um, for all my free picks. And it's completely free. There's nothing else to it. It just sends you my free picks for the day. But anyway, let's get into the picks. So number one pick we have is going to be Jared McCain over 23 and a half PRA. As you can see right here, four of the last five games. Most of you guys already know he went stupid last week against Florida State. He had 40 PRA. And if you guys have been watching this guy this season, he's just getting better and better. The coach and team, teammates as well, they all have, they get more and more comfortable with him on the floor every single game he plays. And he gets more comfortable every single game he plays. He looks more confident out there. He's taking better shots, making better um, decisions on the court. So I really, really like him at 23 per PRA. I think this is still too low. Just I think they're still basing him off of how he was at the beginning of the season. But if you take in the fact he's a freshman and he's getting more comfortable, I think this is just going to keep going up. You know, you see a lot of guys where they have a couple great games in a great games in a row. Their line gets bumped, but you know their line's inflated because they've had great games. I don't think that's the case here for Jared McCain. The reason is because he's a freshman. I think he's always going to be a 26 and a half, 27 and a half PRA kind of guy easily. I think 23 and a half, they're still just saying, oh, well, it's a fluke that he's having these games. I don't think it's a fluke he's having these games. I think he's consistently going to be 26, 27 and a half PRA the rest of the season. And he has an amazing matchup against Miami. Miami is ranked against guards. I believe they're ranked 349th or right around there. So they are horrible at defending guards. And if you watch Jared McCain play, you know he gets a good amount of rebounds as well. I think he's already had five double-doubles this season, I believe. I might be wrong. It might be four. But um, he's had a, four or five games this season where he's gone over 10 rebounds. So this guy's a rebounding machine at the guard position. And Miami has been giving up a lot of rebounds to the guard position as well. That's why I'm taking the PRA. I think he has a good scoring game. I think he has a good rebounding game. I think he just back-to-back -back kills it. He also plays much better on the road. Duke, as a team, they kind of fall off on the road. McCain stands out um, on the road. So I really, really like him here. And then the second play, we're going to go with Carter. So we've got Devin Carter for, for Providence right here at 30 and a half PRA. So this is another situation where his matchup is just insanely good against Xavier. He also went off last game. 
Um, 47 PRA for him right here. And like I said, amazing, amazing matchup against Xavier. They're giving up insane numbers for um, PRA to guards this season. So I expect Carter to go into this game. It should be a close game. And the over-under right now is sitting at 150 last time I checked. So it should be a decently high-scoring game. It should be a close game. And Providence is one of those teams right now where they're at the point in the season where they really need to start winning games. And it's not that they're losing a bunch of their games or anything like that. It's just they're kind of one of those on-the-fence teams. And they really, if they want to make a good push, a good run at the end of the season, they need to start now and they have to win these games. And I think Providence and Devin Carter knows that. And I think he's going to put this team on his back for the last stretch of the season here. And he's going to start going off. As you can see last game, 47 PRA. So I think this trend keeps up. Really good matchup against Xavier. I just don't see how that stops right there. And I think he just keeps going on this absolute tear. I think this is going to be about three games in a row here where he just goes on a tear. So I really, really like these two guys over their PRA right here. So this is the play for today. And as always, guys, like I said, go f join the free picks. It's completely free, guys. There's no reason not to. If you're betting on sports anyway, you might as well get as many picks as you can. So um, that'll be linked in the description. And then as always, like the video if you like these college basketball pick videos. And then subscribe if you guys want to see more. Like I said, we might hit 1,000 before March, which would be absolutely insane. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And other than that, good luck with all your guys' bets. I'll see you in the next video.